Hey guys, Buffy Game back today, bringing another video for our favorite weapon series for our Warzone weapons. So today we're going to be using a similar build that we covered in the new Odin that I did the other day for our favorite weapon series. However, this time we're going to adapt it and make some changes here for using it in Warzone. Again, we're using some suggestions here from our community member Rylan, or a man named Nobody is known in the Discord channel. So we're going to be building this with some of his suggestions as well as some combinations from mine. And I'll be taking this in the Warzone using it as a close to medium range assault rifle. So you see how this works out it's really a way i have never really used this for a custom build so let's go ahead and jump right in i'll show you the build and then we'll jump in and i'll walk you through this nice nine kill win that we had here in duo so let's go ahead and back out here's the final design for the new odin design or the s 12.7 millimeter as it's known in real life so we'll go ahead and back out and i'll strip this down to the base we're using the black asp blueprint here again you can just see the major differences we covered this in the blueprint series the other one that works really well with this is the carbon bear which unfortunately i don't have unlocked yet it's the same as this design however all black and clean finished so for the first attachment here using the black asp blueprint to build this we're going to go ahead for the muzzle now this is the new change i talked about in that video the other day the monolithic suppressor did receive a cosmetic change now this is going to assist us with the sound suppression and the damage at range the cons here the ads speed and the aim walking steadiness and you can see the obvious major differences whereas the colossal suppressor you're not getting the recoil control that you do with the colossal suppressor however it's a much uh more low profile suppressor and it'll obviously increase your movement speed more so than the colossal suppressor with that big bulky suppressor so and we're using it for close range so we really don't need any additional range or recoil control we're going to make up for that elsewhere so we're going to go ahead and use that new monolithic suppressor. You can see the, the big kind of fat can that it is now versus what typically was, I believe, the tactical was a design kind of similar to the mono, which just looked horrible. But now we have a nice monolithic suppressor. Really changes up the gun, makes it look much more aesthetically pleasing. Now, typically for the barrel, I would run something like a 420 if I'm using it in closer ranges. I'm actually going to just leave it at base here. We're going to save that attachment slot. The base barrel for this works out really well. Now, the laser, we're going to use the tack laser. This is going to assist with the ADS speed aiming stability or the aim walking steadiness in the cons here the laser is visible to enemies only when adsing however this is really going to help out the weapon in all these pro categories because it is such a heavy bulky weapon firing that loud or that large 12.7 by 55 millimeter round so we'll go ahead and put that on you can see we have a, the laser here is the the pec 15 right there on the top picatinny rail which looks really nice now the optic we're going to run the eotech or the combat corp holographic here so again this is the eotech in real life we're going to go ahead and run that. It's going to be precision sight picture. The cons here is the ADS speed, but again, it's very minuscule, the amount of ADS uh, speed you're losing with this, since it really doesn't weigh as much as something like a bulkier optic, like a like a sniper or a integral hybrid or anything like that. So you're not really adding that much weight to the weapon. It's only going to slow down your ADS a little bit. But again, we've already mitigated that and then some with the tack laser on the weapon. Stock, we're going to leave Blake as well as, well as the perk and the rear grip. Now the ammunition... We're going to go with the 30 round magazine now at base this is a 20 round magazine of the 12.7 by 55 millimeter this is a this is a 50 caliber round nice big heavy bulky round um this is going to increase it from 20 to 30. the magazine capacity is up 10. the cons here the ads speed and the movement speed just because obviously we're adding all that extra weight with this large caliber bullet and you're carrying all that extra ammo so we'll go ahead and select that however i do think the 30 round magazine is kind of a must in anything but solos because if you're engaging multiple targets it really just allows you to not have to conserve your ammo so much 20 rounds you can definitely get away with all the way up to trios however uh, i really recommend the 30 rounds just because you can be a little bit more carefree when shooting now for the underbarrel test we're gonna go with the merc foregrip this foregrip actually received a silent nerf the other day um, and it reduced your movement speed whereas before it would increase your movement speed but this is still going to offer the best recoil control for this heavy caliber assault rifle versus the ranger foregrip so we're going to go ahead and run the merc foregrip it also offers the hip fire accuracy and since this weapon in real life is designed for cqc engagements it will help us out with that hip fire in case we get into a pinch and we need to utilize that hip fire accuracy on this weapon it will come through for us and again that heavy round you don't need to land many shots and it will take you down so the cons here aim walking movement speed and the ads speed which again uh, is already negated by the tack laser so we'll go ahead and put that on this is our final design for the new odin or the ash 12.7 millimeter we're using this in close quarters to medium range engagements here in warzone for a nice nine kill win you can see just a very aesthetically pleasing looking weapon here so let's go ahead and jump right in i'll walk you through this nine kill win here that we had in duos and also just really quick i'll be covering this operator bundle in uh the next day or so but you can see just the operator i'm running with this is the new nikto skin here I'll be covering this in the blueprint weapon series that I did, uh, that I will be doing for his bundle. But you can just see how awesome this Spetsnaz skin looks with this Russian 
Ash 12 weapon here. Um, so really nice looking skin, really nice looking weapon. We're all milsimed up. So let's go back to our weapon here and we'll go ahead and we'll jump into the nine kill gameplay win. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so let's jump right into the gameplay here and you'll see just starting off here, Moon and I landed over by police and he ended up getting killed by this random guy in this house. So what I want to do is just use my recon drone and I'm just going to kind of search the area, see where he is. I'm using his APC-9. He only has 20 rounds in the magazine, so got to be careful of that. It almost got me killed there, but luckily with the high rate of fire and the quick reload time on this, I'm able to take that guy down. Not sure where he came from, but now we'll fast forward to this team. This is the team we've been tracking. We were over on the top of dam by fire and looking down. This ended up being our hit. And we tracked them all the way over to here, which pretty far distance. We've downed them already about two times probably at this point. And this is just they're a hit marker machine at this point. I'm using the IWI Galatz conversion that I've done from the CR-56 AMAX or the IWI Ace-31, turning it into the DMR sniper variant of the Galatz, utilizing the M67 rounds here. So you can see here, I've downed them, I believe, just twice right here in what I've showed you and they keep getting covered behind this and okay. reviving each other so at this point I'm pretty frustrated because I'm getting so many hit markers so much broken armor they keep reviving each other so Moo's gonna keep a lookout here with his sniper rifle he's got an HDR so he can hit that big shot I'm gonna push down here and try and finish these guys because they gotta push up with the gas and I'm getting sick of uh getting hit markers and the last thing I want is these guys to end up getting us somehow so gonna down that guy with the glots much better at the closer ranges there. and then you can see the owner of the S12 just destroying these guys at that range is obviously one of them's down, but I dropped the other guy super quick. They're probably low on plates at that point, but again, didn't really stand much of a chance with the owner of the S12. So fast forward again, we're gonna work into the circle. We're trying to hold this position here, just watch the wall coming in, looking for teams rotating. And here comes one team here. So you can see I'm just gonna pepper this guy with shots. And uh, again, just hit a lot of hits, no downs at this point. Um, he's gonna take cover there. He's gonna replay it up now. There's another guy behind the wall that I'm trying to call out to Moo. Get a lot more hits on this guy, and here comes his buddy. Luckily, I think Moo hit this guy with a shot, so I'm able to get it down and then clean him up here as well, which is good. So now there's a one guy left. He's gonna be kind of hiding over there for a while. I don't. We're not gonna see him again until later. Um, again, we're looking over there for him at this point, and we get rolled in on by another team from our six. They're trying to rotate towards us up this hill for position and. They run into us. Now, at this point, I don't even see where they are. I'm getting just hammered with shots. Trying to figure out from Moon where they are. You can see they're throwing grenades. So, they're, I think they're head glitching that hill in front of us, which is smart play by them. Um, I'm going to play cautiously. Uh, put my plates in. Make sure I'm full health before I even peek in. Because, obviously, they have a line of sight on me. I'm not able to even detect what uh, where specific the area is that they're coming from. So, again, I'm going to check my heartbeat. Not seeing anything. And here, I'm going to run into one guy. Um, they try to rotate down below us, I think, again. And again, you can see, I have to go back and look at the audio for this. I think this guy's using either a Kilo or a Growl. And right there, you can see the Odin. Even though he broke my armor, I broke his and get right back to him and made him, him duck and run. So, it hits really hard with that 12.7 millimeter round. Definitely a large, that large 50 caliber round does pack a punch, even at these ranges and specifically how we're using it here. So, again, they're in this house now. They kind of messed up at this point because they didn't push us all the way. And we've kind of got them on the ropes at this point. Um... Yeah, Moo hit him a lot. Point. I hit him. I broke that guy's armor. They're in this house. I'm just going to try and get a penetration hit on here to see where, where specifically they are. And you can see right there that guy peeks. And I'm able to get two shots on him. But at this point, that wall's moving. We don't want to push right into them because they have the advantage since we got to go to them. So we're going to rotate right and we're going to get on this wall here. So at this point, we've rotated far enough. I don't know where that team went. If we run it, they, we probably end up running them again at the very end. Uh, I'm not really sure. But again, at this point, we're working this wall up. We see a team up here. At some point, I'm gonna just try to peek over, put some shots another down. Team, shooting another team, shooting. They have the hill cover there, so yeah, we, they're yeah. actually getting engaged by another team. So we're technically about to third party these guys, and I think one team just won the fight, and we're gonna third party here. And so you right can here. see right here, right that guy goes one. to clean somebody up. I down him almost instantly, and then this guy here, I crushed too. And I, when I went back and looked at their stuff, they're running uh, uh, Meta Grouse, Meta Bruins, MP5. So you can see just how devastating the S12 of the Odin is at these ranges and competitive with these high meta weapons. Now, this is an interesting game. This guy gets on our flank. And again, he gets shots on me first, and I just destroy him with the Odin there. So we're just going to clean him up. I'm going to replay, and we're going to regroup there. So definitely uh, 
No idea where that guy, that guy obviously rotated. Probably a member of that team that was initially engaging us. One guy left, tried to rotate in here and just ran into us. And luckily, uh, luckily we saw him. Otherwise he would have gotten us from the back. But again, what we're going to do is work this wall here. You can see right here, I tried to call a rotate left, which Mu advised me against. He wants to stay on the wall, which good call by him because it ended up working out really well. And if we had rotated left, we probably would have ended up getting killed. So there's a, there's a, team on my orange mark that I keep marking they're not suppressed and so we're keeping an eye on them marking them trying to see where specifically they are and you can just see that guy's weapons all the meta guns and the Odin took it out at that range so the Odin definitely an underrated weapon even this dude with an AUG and an M4 and I, I beat him out as well so I think we can call the Odin the meta killer at this point <laughs> at these ranges especially so here Moo's gonna take some shots at those guys on the orange mark. I'm gonna try and work up the wall and get a better position. Key to, to firefights when you can really do it is distract a team and have another member or two do a wide flank. Try and get a different position, get an angle, catch them off guard. So that's specifically exactly what I'm gonna do here. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on my left. You'll see I keep checking left just to make sure because there's gotta be other guys somewhere in the circle. So I'm trying to make sure I'm not gonna get uh, rolled up on when I move forward. So I get one guy in the heartbeat. Down to one. Down that dude almost instantly, and same with the other guy. Get them both in the 130 round mag. You can see there on the kill feed, it's a 48 meter kill with the Odin. Again, this is designed really not, I wasn't even expecting it to be that good at those ranges, but it was. So it worked out really well, very accurate, and again, it still packs a punch at that 48 meter, 50 meter range there. Now, these are both teams down there. Again, you can see this Galatz is just getting hit markers after hit markers after hit markers. I already broke this dude's armor and I still hit him two more times and didn't down him, which is just insane. Uh, I'm gonna take some pot shots with the Odin. Still can't get hits on him because they're right behind that wall and cover now. I mark another guy that crawled behind this rock. He's down at this point. So it's 2v2 and the guy behind the rock is about to die. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be 2v1. Um, so that guy ended up dying behind the rock. He was too hurt. The last guy, we're not sure specifically where he is, but it seems like he's probably in the bunker is what I'm calling out to move. So we're just going to kind of wait. We have great advantage here. We barely need to move in. And again, he's got to move out in the open. There's no cover out there. So you can see there he is. Multiple hits with his galots. Finally break armor. Finally get it down. Uh, again, you'll see the amount of damage I do after this game is just insane. But I downed him. He's going to he's gonna self-res again. And uh, there we go. We get him for the final kill there. Nice nine kill win there. Um, duo win. First, our first duo win I think we've had in, in a while. It's been kind of kind of hard yeah, lately. And again, tough. since there's like, no vehicles here, it was just much easier. We didn't have to worry about guys rolling up with trophies and jeeps and running everyone over uh, yeah, really and win. crazy yeah. stuff like that. So it was just really pure firefights here with really no well. vehicles in this mode. Yeah. They had to take them out recently That's just for a brief no time. But uh, it worked out really well using that Odin. You can see here I got my new Nikto skin. Looks really nice, that Spetsna skin with the Russian Odin. Really nice looking build. Let me know down below what you guys think of this. Again, this is the new Odin or the S12, using it in Warzone for a, really how it's meant to be used and how you would typically use it online is those close quarters to medium range engagements. Worked out really well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the videos if you're enjoying the content. Also check out the AS Val video I did yesterday. That's the newest weapon we're gonna be getting here with season six, nice assault rifle. So you should be able to convert that to a BSS. Go ahead and check that out on the channel. Let me know down below what your favorite Odin weapon is to run a multiplayer in Warzone. How do you kit it out? How do you prefer it for medium, range engagements, long, close quarters? How do you typically use it? What attachments uh, for multiplayer in Warzone? I'm curious to see what you guys think. But I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know down below your comments on the Odin the S12. What do you think of the gameplay? What do you think of these range engagements? Using it really different than I have before. Typically, I'll use it as a DMR or... Uh, or I very rarely use it in this type of role. So this is probably my my definitely my favorite build to use with the Odin. This is the most fun I've had playing uh, the game. This round was just a lot of fun to use. And again, you're able to just, you'll see me take out all those guys using meta weapons with this Odin. So definitely an underrated gun. Let me know down below what you guys think. And until next time, Buffer Gaming, out.